Hi and welcome to this tutorial on dynamic paint using image sequence. And I, in order to follow this tutorial, you need to have some basic Blender interface knowledge. Uh, I'm not going to do anything advanced, but you still need to know how to find yourself around Blender. Uh, I'm going to do some basic animation, nothing spectacular, nothing too advanced, but I won't be explaining everything I do and I'll also be doing some basic UV unwrapping and if you're interested in all of that and you don't know anything about it then please go see other tutorials on that uh, because those are the kind of features that I will be using but nothing advanced. Okay so let's get started with uh, the dynamic paint. In order to get dynamic paint to work you need to have a brush and you need to have a, a canvas. Uh, so I'll start off with deleting the default cube and the lamp. Uh, press Shift A to create a. We'll create a plane. Uh, I'll scale this up. Okay. So now we have looks more like a canvas. Uh, so I'll name this canvas, and we also need a brush. Uh, so and we can we can pick any uh, any shape we want. Uh, in this example, I'll pick a UV sphere. Okay, we have a US UV sphere. I will scale that down just a little bit. We don't need that bigger brush. Okay, so now we have the brush and the canvas. Good. Uh, the first thing we want to do is. Uh, have the brush selected and we'll go up here to the physics tab select physics and select dynamic paint and we'll select brush add brush and right here we can select what kind of color we want it to be uh, the default is some kind of blue we'll change that just to to do something and we also have alpha and things like that down here we can control what kind of brush this will be uh, and uh, mesh volume is what I'm going to use here and basically it's that the entire sphere that the the mesh volume is the brush so if you uh, <coughs> if you want to paint with it and you want to paint a larger area you can simply scale the brush up uh, to, to, and it will become a bigger brush cover more of the canvas as you paint on it. Okay, so <clears throat> that pretty much wraps up uh, the brush. No, what we're going to do is is to paint on the canvas. So we'll need to make an, a small animation uh, with this brush going across the canvas. Uh, so I'll press 7 on the, on the numpad just to get a top view. I'll press grab, place it over here and right here I want to place a keyframe. Press I to create a keyframe. Uh, then I'll move the time slot and I'll move the brush. I'll do another keyframe and you can see that by drawing this uh, on the timeline you can see that we have a, a short animation going on here. Uh, so we'll just continue that. Uh, select timeline, uh, grab to move the object and uh, I to create keyframe. Another one, grab, okay, good, keyframe, great. So now we have like a zigzag. We're drawing a Z. Okay, good. Uh, we don't want the movie to be that long. We'll cut it down to uh, 80. That's fine. Great. And as we play, we can see how the animation works. Okay. Great. Perfect. Uh, so that's it with the brush. We have the brush painting on the canvas, so let's get down to business on the canvas. Uh, in order to use this uh, 
the image sequence, uh, the best thing to do is to UV unwrap uh, the canvas. We'll tab into edit mode, then shading UV, and as we're having a top view, uh, we can simply uh, project from view. Okay, uh, we'll go into the UV image editor to see what we got. Great, we have a perfect square. We'll just scale it up to cover more of the canvas, like that. Uh, we'll go back to 3D view. We'll tab back into object mode. mode. And now uh, we have the canvas selected, but it's not a canvas yet. So we'll go back into the physics tab, press dynamic paint again, and this time have canvas selected, add canvas. Uh, now this is what makes uh, this an image sequence canvas. You have to select this format, image sequence. And down here we have the resolution. This is how how high of a resolution the actual images that we are producing, uh, that we are mapping to this canvas is going to be. So 256 is rather low. I'll just pump that up to 1024. Uh, good, and uh, we already have the start and the end at to 1 to 80, so that maps well with the time frame we have already created. Perfect. Okay, having done that, we'll go here to Dynamic Paint Output, and uh, we select UV Map here, and this is the folder where the, uh, the images that is going to be recorded. Uh, when I say recorded is that when, when we do this animation you see the brush is going across the canvas and it's painting and what what we want to do is to capture how it paints on the canvas as, as it goes through the timeline. Uh, so I'll, I'll call that a recording and the recording will consist of 80 frames, 80 images. 80 JPEG images or PNG PNG images uh, that will be stored in a folder and this is where the images will be stored. You can change this directory if you want to. Uh, let's try and use the default. And now to do the recording of these images you have to press this bake image sequence. So we'll press it and it will take some time to go through the, the animation. I'll speed it up for you. Okay, great. The, uh, the bake is complete. And uh, okay, now we should have a, uh, a good drawing. So just check it out, how it looks. Uh, nothing, okay. We don't have a material. There's nothing here that says that it should use the uh, the coloring that has been done from the brush because the all that is being saved into a, a folder down here uh, so we add, need to add a material uh, to uh, the canvas <coughs> uh, so I'll open a node editor go to uh, material right here uh, we'll go ahead and add a new material And what we need is not a diffuse. What we need is a, first we want a texture coordinate. Texture coordinate. So we can use the UV section here. Then we'll want, then we want a image texture because these are images that we are going to map to this surface. And we'll check the UV coordinates to the vector and the image and uh, going towards a shader of some kind. I will use, since I don't have a lamp or anything like that in the scene, I will use uh, an emission shader. Good. Cut the color into there and the emission to the surface. Now to get the images uh, we'll use the, uh, let's see here, cache dynamic paint we'll select the first image in the sequence. You see here we have 80 images and we'll select the first one. Open image. So right here 
down here I'll enlarge it for you you have a box called single image now this isn't a single image it's an image sequence so we'll have to change that to an image sequence and then it pops up this additional information how many frames do we have we have 80 frames start frame yes it starts from the beginning great there is no offset perfect uh, so let's see there we go to so be able to see uh, the animation in uh, in our window here we'll also uh, cross this auto refresh that will make the image appears as we uh, go through the animation on the timeline yep it seems to be working so we have the timeline right here and we can see that it being drawn as the timeline proceeds perfect now as you can see here we have these uh, these round dots and that's because the the, the uh, this pattern is being drawn uh, one image at a frame so there's a snapshot for each frame uh, you can see the sphere is moving one step at a time and on each step it is uh, being uh, uh, it draws a new circle uh, now that might not be exactly what you want uh, you, you might want a smoother like you would have if you're not dotting a pencil along the line but rather drawing uh, the pencil or uh, the paintbrush uh, along a line uh, so you want a smoother line so you can actually change uh, this brush into a cube that might fix the issue uh, or you could add if you select the uh, the canvas we have the canvas selected great we'll go back into the physics tab and we have another uh, part here we have sub steps and if you add sub steps you will see that if I add one additional subset step it means that the uh, uh, the position of the sphere uh, in between the two frames will also be drawn uh, so in this area we will have one additional and if you increase this to two and three and four and five you will see that the line becomes smoother and smoother just to demonstrate I'll uh, set this to sub steps equals one and I'll bake the image sequence again and you can see the bake is complete and you can see that we have uh, a much smoother line uh, so uh, by increasing this you will have more and more uh, iterations or, or a finer degree of snapshots in between frames okay we can do some tweaks uh, we'll go back into the node editor uh, we'll change the uh, the canvas setting right here we can add transparency to the background so we don't have that black uh, canvas uh, we'll add a shader, a uh, transparent, boom. We'll add a mix shader. We'll add these together, like so. We'll take the alpha from there. And of course, it's always the other way around. There you go. Uh, now we have the, uh, the painting on a transparent canvas, if you want. Great and the brush isn't very interesting there either we changed the material for that one as well and you will have a, an emission shader perfect so I have a, a bright uh, white ball brush that is actually drawing the line as it goes across or you could simply do a, a transparent oh, right there okay so uh, transparent perfectly white okay so now you don't have a brush a visible brush at all and then you can just animate a pencil or, or a real marker or something like that drawing across uh, across whatever you you want to put here like a chalkboard or a piece of paper or something like that 
Okay, that's it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you could follow the steps okay. If not, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please consider subscribing and uh, give me a like if you liked it. Thanks!